Hey kids, in this episode we take a look at uh, the ASC microplastic study, the global initiative that's going on, and I show you how I collect water samples aboard the Nuke. In trying to cooperate with the plastic study, one of the things I need to do is I need to take one liter bottles and fill them full of water. The problem is, is that Nanook's got a lot of freeboard. That means from the distance from up on the deck down to the water levels a long ways. The freeboard is more than the length of my arm. So I took this uh, boat hook. You see it's got a little hook here on the end. And I rigged it up with some elastic uh, rubber stuff which may contribute to some plastic with the loose ends, but I'm hoping not. And then following the procedures, I have uh, submerged it, dumped it, submerged it, dumped it, submerged it, dumped it. I've already done that three times. I'm gonna do it one more time and, uh, and then collect the sample. And now that I finally got this figured out, so here we go. Over the side. She's bubbling away, she's filling. I got it a good foot below the surface. I don't dare hold the camera over the side of the boat to show you bubbles coming out of a bottle. I'm sure you've seen bubbles coming out of a bottle before. Here we turn it upside down. We let it drain back out. This will be the fourth, fourth, maybe fifth time that I've done this. So there, and so now we'll get our sample. Again, I'm holding it about a foot underneath the surface. So a long ways down there, well away from any surface contaminants. Blub, blub, blub. There she's full. Now uh, this time, I bring her straight in and cap her. That's it. That's it. Now I pull that off there. I can remove these two bungees and voila, a water sample. Pretty clear, actually. So there's how I collect water samples. I've got my system set up now. I've got my rig, as it were. And I'll uh, save all these parts in a drawer. These elastics are made to hold the bottle firmly, and this one holds the neck firmly, and it all works with, with this expandable boat hook. Expandable so I can shrink it down. There we go. Now it's a short boat hook. Well, that worked. So uh, the ASC plastic study is a pretty interesting study. They're collecting water samples from all over the world and uh, are uh, monitoring them for how much plastic they find. And one of the things I'm hoping to do with my little experiment, my journey, is to collect a water sample approximately every 200 miles or so as I travel around the world. and. Uh, package them up and ship them back to them. So, so what we needed to know was uh, the GPS coordinates and I've got those so that's not a problem and uh, I have to label this now and then get ready to put it in the package. These are being mailed off to a lab in Maine in the United States so I don't know I don't know how I'm going to box that to ship it to Maine. Probably be a good idea to maybe put some tape over the cap to help hold it tight. This label's got to come off. I have some identifying tape that's going to go around here, get the outside good and dry. But uh, yeah, there's the first sample taken here in uh, Alec Bay in uh, South Central Alaska. Coming your ways, guys. ASC Plastics, people. This is coming your way. So, Anyhow, so that's how we collect plastics. Now, unfortunately for this trip, my diagnostic equipment didn't get here. My pH meter got here. Uh, I could take pH and I can do temperature. 
but the rest of my uh, testing equipment didn't get here in time. It was in route when I left the house, somewhere between wherever they make them and wherever they were shipping them to me, uh, but they didn't get here in time. So my next trip out, I will have them and be able to take some water samples and uh, run a full gambit. And I apologize for not having it on this trip, but stuff just didn't get here yet. So anyhow, more later. Talk to you. Bye.